Who knows what Jordan number these are? Where's Nick? No, we can't yeah, answer. We can't start with no questions. No, Nobody? Yep. Is that Christmas gift? No. That's like 90. What are they? 14. 14. <laughs> we know how to read Roman numerals. <laughs> 30 days. That was quite a challenging question. <laughs> When you get to this point in the season and you're kind of getting down to these last couple of games, what's the mindset in here knowing like there's change and unknown and all these things waiting on the other side? Make the plays all you can. I mean, just take advantage of the opportunity that we have. I mean, we know we guarantee two more. So, I mean, honestly, just going out there, having fun with each other, making the most of it, uh, making plays. I mean, I think we all have some plays that we still want to go out there and make individually and as a team. So, I mean, just honestly, go out there and you take this is your resume at this point. So, no matter what's going on around you, you got to continue to put the best foot forward, continue to put the best tape out there. Is it difficult to tune out the questions, the unknown, the conversations? I mean, we ask about it all the time. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I, honestly, if you've been in the organization long enough, you, you're used to it by now. So, I mean, just honestly, just keep your head down, continue to work, and continue to just try to get better week by week. Do you do better? Make yourself some money in the last six or seven weeks if you trade that way? Your production, I mean, the ball numbers, the stats, all this stuff. Out of the. Yeah. When Ebers was after the game, the other day, he said something like that. Your performance, but also in your understanding of what the defense is meant to do. Do you feel like that has come along? Has that always been there? He really went out of his way. To what was that? To how you understand how the defense works. Yeah. In your game. I think, I mean, it just comes with time being in it. I mean, I thought last year, of course, it was my first year, everybody's first year in the system. And so, I mean, this year, I mean, we just get more reps under your belt. And, I mean, even kind of switching and just playing the field, field side corner, I mean, just even with that, just being able to get more reps with that under my belt, continue to read, watch film, I mean, just under have a better understanding. So, I mean, yeah, I'll just keep it. How do you feel about the secondary at this point? I would say pretty good. I mean, I just think it started off kind of rough for us. I feel like a lot of guys were, weren't healthy, weren't um, at, their, at their best. I feel like early on in the season. And then as time went on, we got a lot more healthy. We were able to get guys playing together again. And then just honestly just continue to build, continue to go through the growing pains and guys have learned. And I think we just continue to rise together, continue to stick together and push each other throughout the week. And we were able to see that on, on Sundays. Is there a story oh, behind your head? Nah, I just like it. But I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure the office will tell you a little more about it. Hey, Packers player got busted for calling head for deferring on the point. You're going to give me more details. I don't know if y'all believe me or not, but I'm not on social media. I don't see I don't see him. Jair Alexander suspended the game because he crashed. Suspended? Because he wasn't he wasn't a captain or anything. He crashed the coin toss. So suspended him? The team? For contract detrimental. I mean, Man, I ain't know nothing about that, but I mean, I wonder what made him just go and do it. He said he was from Charlotte. So he just Charlotte. took his own initiative? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever crash the coin pound? Nah, nah, nah. Why not? Nah, nah, nah. I don't expect to do that. Would you like to see a team that's going to be How do you want this defense to finish? In what way should you? In what way? I think we're I think we're due for for a shutout. Um, so I mean, just I think that's something that I don't think we've done this year. Yeah. So I mean, just honestly doing something that, doing something new. I mean, we've had four turnover games, interceptions, touchdowns, but I think if we can come out with a shutout in these two weeks, one of these games, I think that'll be very good for us. Trying to do and establish as a dominant. Given that all of the pieces on the team until most of them plan to be back next year, what's the importance of the final two games for you guys to build the block going into the I mean, you don't want to pick up with an action tape left you know, honestly. So just, I mean, just trying to stay on top, continue to win these last two games as a defense. I mean, as a team, and then just as a defense, continue to dominate. Like I said, I think we can get a shutout in these, one of these next two games. I think that'll speak volumes to what, what we can do in the future. What's the key to getting these 
Honestly, having good eyes. I mean, honestly, with tackling a guy like that, I think it, for me, it comes down to kind of having good eyes and being patient in the tackle. You can't just come in, pull his feet out of control, but you also can't stop the feet too much. So, kind of just taking good angles, playing with aggression, speed, um, but also controlled and also having having good eyes, having your eyes low on the tips. Because, I mean, he, he can make a lot of juke moves, he can stop on the down. So, somebody like that, you got to be patient, but also still have control.